Welcome back. Well, you guys voted the best Linux operating system or the best Linux distribution for 2015, you guys said, is Arch. And my first thought was, you guys are nuts. No, I'm just kidding, just kidding. I can certainly understand why a Linux system based on Archie, uh, Archie, Arch, not Archie. Yeah. Hey, yo, Archie, what's up? Must be the cough medicine. <clears throat> anyway, no. I will say this about Arch Linux. I haven't really messed with it too much in the past, but the brief time I've had it, I will say this, it appears to run a little bit smoother and faster even in a virtual box, what you see here. So I thought I would try something called Antergos. Now I went to their website and I think there was something posted, something that said they use the KISS system. Keep it simple, stupid. I like that. I like keeping it simple. So I thought, well, let's take a look at this, install it, and I did. And number one, I will say this about the installer. I believe that a beginner can figure it out. It was quite graphically, at least, user-friendly. The second that I installed this in a uh, virtual machine. Now, normally, virtual machine may not be the best way to test a system. Usually, if you have a test machine, but I installed it. Had a little bit of issue installing the uh, guest editions once I got that installed, no problem. And the third thing I did, I installed a couple multimedia applications. My number one thing in the past with Linux in general is I've had issues with multimedia apps such as screen recording, uh, video editor, uh, and uh, a uh, <clears throat> excuse me, another video piece of software that I use in general is Handbrake and I installed all three ran them briefly and to my surprise all three worked pretty good um, so as far as that goes yes I'm quite happy so far with testing Antergos based on Arch Linux a brief look at this it does have something called the GNOME, uh, the Tweak Tool. Let's go ahead and hit the super key. Type in, and there we go. Tweak Tool. This, I believe, is a must piece of software, whether you are a beginner or an advanced user. This is going to make it a lot easier to make a GNOME desktop environment a lot more uh, functional and or user friendly. Go to extensions. A lot of these were pre-installed. Uh, some of these, well at least one of these I turned on, the applications menu. I think something like this where you click with a drop down menu, I think this is going, this will be easier, especially if you are a beginner between a menu and a submenu. This panel to the left is very nice. Let's go click show all applications. You can go between frequent and all. You can scroll down and this will give you what is pre-installed in your new Arch-based Linux system called Antergos. Sounds like a villain in the new James Bond movie, Spectre. We must defeat Antergos. Anyway, yeah, I'm going to watch that movie tomorrow night. But as far as this goes, I think it looks terrific. It runs fairly smooth, even in a virtual box. And yes, I do believe that this might be something for beginners. I just typed in TA for task manager. We'll go to system monitor. Same thing. Well, 500 megabytes, that's about right for a GNOME desktop environment. I do like the buttons to the right, by the way, since I am right-handed, right-handed. <clears throat> anyway, as far as navigating through this, if you are a beginner, why not give this a shot? It is a rolling distribution versus, say, an LTS, a long-term support release. This usually uses the cutting-edge software, which sometimes may not be always stable, but you'll always get the new stuff. And the way I see it, try it inside a virtual machine. It is one of the safest ways to try a Linux-based operating system. So check out Antergos. I will have a link for this below in the show notes. So there you go. 
something Arch Linux for beginners. The install are very easy, and from what I've tested so far, it looks kind of cool. Well, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you guys think. Thank you so much for watching and listening. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe for some more stuff. Enjoy your technology, and please don't text and drive. Take care.